Greetings and salutations. It is Minecraft once again. Now buried treasure, this thing is still looking for that for whatever reason. Um, but what I want is not that. We want to just find the nearest village of any type. Definitely not gonna be that one. Oh my god. Alright, the... Um, what's it go? Oh my god, is this actually a jungle tent? Pfft, I didn't even know that was there. Okay, cool. Uh, wow, I have not explored one of these at all. And there's the desert temple that's like right around here as well. So that's nice. I'm just gonna mine up here though, because I'm way too lazy to actually do that. Ooh, new armor templates, some iron, more bones, I'll take it. Ugh, don't really need anything else there, do I, though? Now, the first trap would be right here. Yep, so I can yoink that, run over here, pop open this, get more arrows, break one of those, run on over here, and clear out this one as well. Then, grab all these. Don't really think I need the rotten flesh, but for dogs or whatever, you know, sure thing. And then I can do that, and that. Alright, great, this place is really useless to me, but yeah. Um, I'm just gonna double check that there isn't another village even closer than this. Alright, this one is only 807 away, I'm thinking this one might be our winner. Alright, the savannah one is the closest, so I'm just gonna run the 700 whatever meters to get there, and warp back home. And alas, that took so very long, I've arrived. But, I'm not just here, so I can just, you know warp home. I have bigger things to accomplish, and that is uh, stealing all their food and kidnapping all the citizens. So, yeah. Why, hello, good sir. Do you like your job? Uh, that's not an axe. You don't anymore. Now. Okay, you're coming with me, bucko. Oh, I have to... I'm stupid. Um, there you go. One down. Probably several more to go. Can I trade with you guys at all? Can you do anything? No? Cool. Some more bread. Okay. We'll grab the compasses in case I have to craft anything. Why, hello, good sir. Welcome to the workforce. Wow, that was a really crappy chest. But, I do have quite a few people that can help me out now. Even got a blast furnace while I was out. Now this guy can also come with me, right? You're not employed? Yep, you're with me now. Great. Sure hope you're happy in this life now. And with that, I can warp all 5,000 blocks away I am back home. Let me just get rid of this stupid one, because we don't really need it up here. Alright, back at Olydia. And with a great workforce at my side, might I add. Now, it is time to begin mining out more area for more villagers. And maybe I could go back to that village there and break some more beds, because, yeah. I'm going to need a lot more space for these guys, because there's going to be a pretty decent-sized trading hall here. Because there's a lot of books I would like to get, and not a whole lot of time I want to spend doing it. So let's get to work. It's also looking like my pickaxe is about to give out. I mean, my axe as well, honestly, but, you know. That's alright. We got this all set up here. We have four new rooms dug out and ready. I just need beds and stuff to put into them. So, yeah, I'm just going to drop off some stuff in here. They had a lot of wheat, might I add. And, um, then go grab all the beds at the village. And, uh, yeah, let's just drop these guys in here and go back to the village for the rest of the supplies I need. While I was out, I discovered another chest. Oh my god, that one's pretty handy. So then I can also get rid of these cauldrons, because I'll even take them, you know. And um, I'll hold on to the... And there's more wheat I missed. Man, there is so much here. And watermelon? I didn't even know villagers could have watermelon. That's cool, I guess. Well, this should be enough beds. Also, kept forgetting to, but I can actually put Protection 4 on my boots now as well, so that's pretty nice. Alright, so I think I'm good. I had those bookshelves that I crafted at the... I don't know if it was the... or not crafted, purchased 
at the end of the last one or at some point during the last one from the villagers but that will allow me to just get a couple more lecterns which will help me out with getting all the villagers into their rooms and stuff so that'll be pretty nice so i'm gonna go set up some people make them librarians and yeah that's the plan as of right now for now i'm just gonna make three but there are four empty rooms so i may as well make all four but yeah Alrighty, I got the beds and all of these, so now I can grab myself some villagers. Villager 1, welcome to the job of librarianing. I think that's going to be the verb I'm going to go with right about now. Welcome to your new place. Uh, now I need another one. So let's yoink you. You shall be a librarian as well. Alright, great. So I'm thinking sharpness 5, fire aspect 2, efficiency 5, Infinity. Efficiency 5, but the problem is it costs a stack of emeralds to buy one Efficiency 5 book. My god, sir, you suck. Anyway, moving on to the next one. We have Flame, which is also nice, but I think I'll get that from another guy later. Ooh, Unbreaking 3 would be a good one to get as well, but I want my other ones first. And there's Infinity. I don't have... There we go. Now I can get it. Um... Infinity, so we do a little bit of this, one of that, and infinity we have. Thank you, sir. Moving on to you, bucko. Now, he offered me Unbreaking 3 almost immediately, but I do want Sharpness 5 and Fire Aspect 2 as well, so, you know. Whichever of those I get first. Unbreaking 3, great trade and all, but, you know. I really do want to max out the sword for the... Oh, I missed one. Ender Dragon fight here. Now I'm getting that all the time, man. Give me something. Looting three. I mean, I already have that on my sword, so I am good. Thank you. Halfway there, bucko. And there we have it. We got ourselves fire aspect two. Thank you very much, good sir. Now, last but not least, I'm going to need sharpness five from you. Of course, he gave me fire aspect two immediately, my god. I'm breaking three again, man. I kind of just want to go for it, and then I can get another guy set up. You know what, screw it. I think I still have more emeralds. Yeah, I do. Alright, sir. Y you make a good offer here, you know. I I'll take Unbreaking 3. Although, will I? Ah, screw it. Gimme it. I'll make another room for Fourth Villager. Well, I'm grabbing myself a new bookshelf and a new lectern because I'm gonna need one to actually get the Sharpness 3 trade now. And then, um, with all of that... I think that I am good to go to sleep for the night. Alrighty, I'm equipped with everything I need to actually get this guy working here. Uh, I just need him, that, and the lectern. And hopefully 39 emeralds is enough to get sharpness 5. I feel like this room looks smaller than the others, but really it isn't. It's the same exact size as any of the other ones so get you in there get that right there and please just cooperate oh thank god now i'm gonna go through this until i get sharpness five hopefully this doesn't take too long although i can't complain too much because i literally just have to hit the refresh button feather falling four i like paused it and then the next refresh was feather falling four that is amazing but i don't have the emeralds for it, and it's not what i'm looking for right now i don't need it for the wither fight Oh my god, I got it. That took a little bit longer than I was hoping, but that's way cheaper than I was expecting. Sharpness 5 for 17 emeralds. Thank you. Alright, people. You have a good day. Uh, I'll be off now. Wow. 17 emeralds for Sharpness 5. Watch, it's gonna cost me, like, my entire soul to put it on my sword, though, because we got Fire Aspect 2, which is 11, and then we got if infi infinity doesn't go on the boat sharpness five which <laughs> how much will it cost to put these together five and then to put them both onto the book 17 yeah that's cheaper than doing it the other way around but that would be a really nice sword when i hit that level anyway infinity i'm gonna put on the bow i'm gonna want a new bow though just because and i think i got unbreaking three tonight yeah so if i can put both infinity and unbreaking three on my bow that's three levels yeah i need to get some more stuff but you know other than that i should be fine and if i just go chop down a bunch of trees get a bunch of sticks and stuff and give them all to the villagers that alone will get me some xp also i don't really think i need these to be honest 
I could disenchant them, because why do I need efficiency 5 on this thing? This will get me XP. Yeah, look at that XP, my god. Alright, anyway, we can toss infinity and unbreaking 3 together now. And how much does it cost to put that on a bow? 8 levels, which is fine. I am, however, going to want a new bow, just so I can have maximum durability when I kick off with this thing. And I think I'm good. I might just work on a little bit of inventory sorting, which you guys do not have to watch. Alright, I'm going to go back to the mansion and chop down a whole bunch more trees. So, let's get to it. Alright, I just tossed on a new texture pack. I've had for a while and kept forgetting to use it. Oh my god. Wow, I hate this texture pack. Alright, I'm going to remove this texture pack now. I'm sorry I had to make you look at this. Alright, so I was just sitting around and I was thinking about my, um... Because I have another diamond pickaxe, if you don't remember, as Curse of Vanishing on it. So I don't know exactly how that works with the gravestone mod. Like, when I die, it goes in the grave and whatnot. So I don't know how that works for sure. And then also, um... What was the other thing? Oh yeah, if I keep it in my backpack whenever I'm not using it too, like... I don't know, I could just keep it and have, like, a full diamond pickaxe again. I think I'm gonna actually do that, because it's kind of a waste to just keep it away. I think it's in a chest right now, just so it wouldn't break. But yeah, that I think I'm gonna go with that. Well, guys, my axe broke. You know, it honestly chopped down a lot more wood than I thought I was gonna, be, considering the durability on it, but, you know... I think I have enough that that'll be more than enough sticks to trade with all the villagers, so I'm happy with that, and I'm gonna head back to Olydia. Alright, I slept away the night, now here's what I'm thinking, honestly. Um, I got another villager in here, this is my last one actually it seems, but you know what I think? I'm gonna want myself another Fletcher because, you know, I have so many sticks that I'm making and then I have to wait around for them all to restock and it is a bit annoying to be honest I mean I got these two guys one guy upstairs but it'd be nice if I could get one more so I'm gonna do that and my pickaxe just broke but I prepared for the oh well, maybe I didn't prepare for this I thought I had another one I mean I have a gold pickaxe well I could have sworn I made an iron one as well, but you know, that's that's all I needed to be broken anyway. So I got the bed, I got the guy, I got his job site block and the cobblestone, so let's go. Boom, bam, pow, cub appleberries. And here we have ourselves a Fletcher. And first try we got the exact trade we want out of this guy, so that is great. Now I'm just gonna trade with all these guys and get back all my emeralds. Leveled this guy up, he's selling me a power one now, I mean I'm good, I think I'm just gonna save up for power 5, to be honest with you, good sir. Alright, I got myself plenty of emeralds. I'm over a stack again, so that's enough for me. I'm probably gonna cure these guys after I make them zombies a few times. It'll be a bit anno more annoying without the bucket mod to actually get a zombie in here. So yeah, also, where is my diamond pickaxe? Because I know for a fact I at least had one with Curse of Vanishing. Now, I, it is definitely a possibility that I actually did manage to die and lose it. That could be in here... Oh, hey, it's a zombie pigman. Now, there's an iron one in there. I have no idea. I must have had it in my inventory and died and lost it. Well, I guess I don't have that, so, I mean, I'm gonna go back to my iron pickaxe then. That's a bit annoying, but yeah, um, golden apple, I really should, like, get all of those out, so I know how many I have, and I have another or normal apple in my inventory, and the exact amount of gold, that is really convenient, um, because <laughs> I know I'm gonna be needing those for the wither fight. Now, next up, I'm trying to think, honestly, I feel like the best thing I could be doing right now is just keep on trading with the villagers, getting more XP, mend up all my gear that needs to be mended, although, I mean, everything is looking just about fine to me. So then I guess the next step is really just put all these books, except for the efficiency 5 I don't need right now, on my items, because, yeah. So we want this one on my sword, which is going to cost me 17 levels, and my bow wants this one, which I can do right now. 
Now, power five. Oh, my anvil is gone now. Um, I do have that damaged one I got from the other place. I mean, it probably isn't going to take too much before this thing is gone as well, but yeah. Power five on this thing would be great, but if I can't get it, I mean, it still has infinity and unbreaking three as of right now, so that's enough for me. I think my best bet is to take this axe, go chop down more trees, and level myself up until I'm good to go. Now I was just wandering over here, and it looks like there's actually a lush cave under here too. This mansion just has everything, I'm telling you. Also, while I've been out, I've been chopping down some oak trees as well in hopes of getting some apples too, which, you know, it's been working. But I think I'm going to go back to the house, sleep, come back here, and just finish off this axe and see if I can get any more apples. But then I will convert all the wood I have and sell it back to the villagers. Guys, I just woke up. Hey, I just had to do a little bit. Wait a minute. The pigman got into the boat with Jerry. We need him a name. We need we need this man a name. Where is a uh, name tag? What do I name you? What do I name you? I might call you Tax Collector. Yes, that's going to be your name. Tax Collector. That might be how to spell Collector. I think it might be ER. I don't care. You might have your name spelled wrong. But you are forever known as the tax collector, good sir. Anyway, back to the mansion I go. That was probably a waste of use on that anvil, but you know what? It was worth it. I can't go on knowing that I don't have my boy tax collector at my side. It seemed that I ran out of luck with apples, but hey, two is better than none, so I'm just going to keep chopping down trees until the last of this axe is dead. Maybe one of these last few leaves will drop me one anyway. You never know. Alright, well, my axe is broken and I didn't get another apple, but that's okay, because I'm back at Olydia where I'm safe and sound. Guys, I looked it up because I really wasn't sure, but, you know, uh, it does in fact, that is how to spell collector. I'm not stupid. Okay, great. Um, I have all these, so I have to go do some trading with my friends, the villagers. Alright, even though I'm not quite the level I was hoping to be, I'm getting much, much closer. And having the extra emeralds either way is going to help out a lot in the future. So let me just toss these in my bag here. And you know what? Because this strategy is working well so far, I say I do it again. And this time, hopefully, it can get me the last of the levels I need. I just am going to need to get myself a new axe. And I'm ready to go. I'm also crafting myself a clock, just so I know what time it is when I'm out on my adventures. Hey, you're here. That's cool. I just... Alright, my here. axe just broke, so I'm just gonna go make the trades with the villagers, and then I'm ready for action. Ooh, Hello, yes! everyone, and welcome back There's an apple! to Mine for 3. Alright, I'm gonna, like... I'm about to do some top tier gaming here. Oh, I, I can make... F I have 14 golden apples right now. I have three. I need to check the ground to see if any fell. You have three? Definitely bring your water bucket. Yeah, well, I have yeah, three. Obviously. Just... Alright. Ooh, Wait, I have sticks. I bet somebody sells apples. Do you sell apples? Farmers. Oh, this guy sells efficiency five. Farmers five, can sell four. apples, actually. IV. Yeah. So, this guy sells efficiency five. I mean, four. Wait, does one of your farmers have apples that I can buy from? Uh, I don't have any farmers with me right now, but you know, if I did, I would. Let let me let me open my backpack of workers. <laughs> yeah. And this guy's about to be master rank, so let's see what special items you get me, sir. All right, here we go. The Why arrow of fire resistance. Ah, yes. Let me give the wither fire resistance. This dumbass. Alright, I'm also going to get you two stacks of arrows, as promised, because boy oh boy, do I need money. That means eight emeralds for all those arrows. Level 16, hey, man, oh, up, I'm making up. it. I'm hitting level 17, and my sword is getting maxed out. This wither is going down. One I... emerald equals six bread. That's a crazy deal. Because I didn't I don't even have realize any bread right when now. it happened, but I, I did hit level 17. I'm even level 18 right now. What is up, my guy? All right. Give me, give me all of this stuff. Yes, yummy, yummy, yummy. And I have one more of these to go through, so... You sure they me. can sell apples, bro? Yeah. All right. It might be a higher tier trade, because I don't think that you can... Get it on tier yeah, I can't get it yet. 
<laughs> yeah, you'd have to rank up your farmers if you wanted to actually get that. And alas, Wait a second, Ivan, you have the second best. I gotta, I gotta get a sword line. for my. Um, I'm gonna call it the Wrath. Of I almost upgraded it. Jerry. That was definitely worth the 18 levels that took. The Wrath oh, of Jerry's coming for you now. Oh, this um, withers He needed doomed. one more thing and he'd upgrade. Now he I'm, is useless. I have to go back to the original fortress. Oh, he upgraded! One emerald is four apples! That's crazy! Ooh, get me some. Or actually, I'll get some when I go I got, visit you. I got 24. I got 24 from the emeralds I got uh Oh, selling. Well, I'm just now I realizing this was a sell. stupid idea. I did not bring a golden helmet. I did not bring a golden helmet. Although these guys do like zero damage to me anyway. Ah, uh, my game has got hit by a car. Am I gonna die? I, I kind of am just inconsistently taking damage without any rhyme or reason here. Oh. Oh my god. Okay, now we're actually Luckily here again. Are dangerous. Now if I can just get up here. Bro, don't let thing. the game get hit by any more buses. I... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, do I have any golden helmets? I mean, I have the equipment to make one. And I do have a crafting table. Okay, I'm fine, I'm fine. You're gonna want your totem. I have several of them, so that won't be a problem for me. You do have a lot of them. I have, like, nothing. Okay, you now I just need to actually make my way back to the original fortress, meaning that something's hitting me. So what I have bows, and I can make bows. Running away! All right, guys. Good news. I have found the stuff, but and that skeleton just got. Oh my god! I am not willing to lose totems already, good sir. And we got more Nether War. This is amazing. So now I just need. Oh, what is with all these skeletons? Die! Is anything mended up here? Yeah, like my armor is and stuff. Good god! I'm just gonna mine up all just the Nether War and all well. the soul sand. 170 lapis sitting right there. Doing all that math is way weight. too much effort for me. Bro, it's nine times three, bro. It's not hard. That's too much effort. Oh my. Nine uh, times three? Yeah, nine times three. You're, you're asking a lot of effort me. For you. you are asking a lot. You're oh, sad, okay. bro. I need to protect this villager, so I'm gonna like... <laughs> Everyone's are safe now. Where is the way <laughs> out of the fortress? fortress? Like over Wait, that is a safe there, fortress. so I have to go this way. Okay. All right, I can get this advancement right about now. Okay, maybe not. Maybe I can't get this advancement right about now. I'm getting hit in the face by fireballs. This is not part of the plan. Not part of the plan. Can I can I buy gold from someone? No. You can sell gold, I think, but you know I don't think that's what you want to hear. Alright, this gas is scaring me. Okay, he's all gone now. You know, I, I thought I was gonna get that Maybe advancement. I could go Turns mining out, in your cave not real quick. really. I know we're kind of Alright, I'm home again, and uh, I got two nether work blocks. Don't really need those, but, you know, I have them. Anyway, I have your stuff for you. It's the dead of night, and I got my boys Tax Collector and Jerry sitting here in my house right now. <laughs> tax Collector? Yep, that's that what That is you named him? Mm-hmm. Do I only have two more of these? I do, huh? Okay, darn. That's alright, that's alright. I can always get more totems later, but as of right now, so many swords, bro. I think I, it's I in my best interest to just, like, use these and just go mend up the rest of my tools and armor. Alright, all my stuff is mended back up, and now I'm just gonna pop these together. Aw, oh, it gets rid of my beautiful armor trim, but you know what? I'll put a new one on. I also gotta get something on my boots, because I got that one from the jungle temple, so, you know. Um, let's see about that. Yeah, the wild armor trim. Let's let's get a little bit of that and maybe put my boots on red. Let's, let's see. I got 12 chicken eggs. I'm gonna throw all of them at Aiden. Oh, I found some gold nuggets. I can make two gold bars. Right, you know what? Let, let's also put the wild trim on our head. I don't know why I only got one of everything. You know, I could have used both. Okay, now don't I only need one iron nugget? And once again, we got full custom armor. So let's take this armor and let's go destroy the oh. wither. Give me some apples, my boy. Apples. Apples. 
Yum, 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 yum. What villagers do you have over here? What are they selling? All right, my boy, what do you have? You got can't buy anything. nothing. I can buy books and stuff. Why, why do you have these guys? These guys are dumb. No, because if they increase their prices... They don't increase their prices. Oh, thank you. You have blessed me, my boy. This guy sells an apple for... Four apples for one emerald. He's crazy. I hear the spider, bro. He's fast. He's not he really dangerous. doesn't like you. Him alone. Golem, Golem got him. Oh, nice. Go, Golem, get him! The spider is no there longer we go. living. Alright, I am more than ready for this fight. Okay, I, I wanted to get a cow, but, you know, uh, there's literally none anywhere. I just want one wait, book and a milk. Wait, can you get... Can Alright, I found, I found some cows at the site of where this mass destruction will begin. Our lovely village of Crycrad. Now, if you don't remember this place, we destroyed everything here of its worth. We did a raid that caused the entire village populace to die. So, you know, all the nice stuff we've done for Crycrad. Well, no, no, no. Now we're going to summon in a wither to destroy the entire village. Although it wouldn't be I a bad idea. <laughs> you know, if you kept the guards alive, this would be really nice as well. But, you know, <laughs> here we are. Why would I do that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's like smart, bro. What are you thinking? Well, I don't think we were originally planning to fight a wither here in the good old town of Crycrad, <laughs> but, you know. Yeah. Here we are. <laughs> What's I grabbing? I don't I don't remember. I'm done. Oh, I know. Alright, but I'm ready I'm when you are. So when you're like ready, that. come on down okay. for the fight. And everybody watching, you know what? I'm gonna do the thing. I'm gonna do the thing where I'm gonna be an asshole and make you all really mad at me. And I'm gonna say, you wanna watch the fight? Come back tomorrow. You'll see the next episode. <laughs> yes, I'm being an asshole. Yes, yes I know that's really annoying. And yes, I know everybody hates it when a YouTube man does that. But I'm doing it because I'm an asshole. So have a fabulous <laughs> day, everybody. And if you want to watch oh. the Wither fight, come back tomorrow. Yes, I know oh, I said good goodbye. Oh, there are cows. Don't go 